although we usually usually use our calculator for um, Poisson inequalities and equations, you do need to be aware of the existence of the um, tables. Um, so you'll find these in your formula booklet, the Poisson cumulative distribution function tables, and these can be look up used to look up any inequality that's in the form of x being less than or equal to some value of x. So in the next couple of examples, we'll look at how we can look up probabilities from the tables. So example three, a lambda value of five. So in our tables, we select a lambda value of five and we want in a probability that x is less than or equal to three. So we just read across from three and pick off our probability. Note, these are cumulative tables. So that 0.265 represents the cumulative values up to and including three. So the probability that x is zero, one, two, or three, all added together. If we want the probability that x is greater than or equal to two, not less than or equal to, then we need to rearrange our inequality into something equivalent that involves a less than or equal to statement. So we can then look up that less than or equal to uh, from our tables and subtract it away from one. For x being between two values, between one and four, we need to rearrange into inequalities that involve just the less than or equal to. And then we can look up less than or equal to four. And we can look up less than or equal to zero, which is the same as equal to zero, and subtract one away from the other, get our answer. Okay, so the tables can be adapted for inequalities that aren't in the um, less than or equal to form. We just need to rearrange those inequalities so they involve less than or equal to's only, and then pick them off the tables. In example four, we use the tables the other way around. So we've got our probability and we want to work out what value of x that corresponds to. So uh, we need to look up the probability in the tables under the lambda heading of 7.5 and work backwards to work out what a is equal to. So looking at that in our tables, here's lambda is equal to 7.5. Here's the probability value. So that corresponds to an x value of five. So that tells us that a is equal to five in this instance. In example B, it's not in the less than or equal to format. So we need to just be a little bit careful. We need to appreciate that x being less than b is equivalent to x being less than or equal to b minus one. We can then find the corresponding value to our probability, which in this case, is equal to 7 and that's b minus 1 so therefore b is equal to 8. And in the final example we've got x is greater than or equal to c so we need to again rearrange that so it involves a less than or equal to statement and then we can rearrange our less than or equal to statement to correspond to um, this probability. So a rearrangement of that um, make the probability the subject gives us the probability that x is less than or equal to c minus 1 must be equal to 0 0.6620. So we need to do a little bit of rearranging of the inequality first before we're ready to pick the value off the tables. Now we can look up that probability, see what the value it corresponds to in the table, which is 8, and because that represents c minus 1, c must be equal to 9.